At the end of the day, I'm doing what feels right for me and chasing down my dream. I got a lot of people asking like, how do you do this whole like three, four hour commute every day to the rink? When you're hopping on the bus, you're hopping on the train. Just gonna start to enjoy it. I don't know, I'm full of shit. this sucks. <laughs> Okay, so last game, performance-wise, went 28 of 30. Outside perspective, looks looks really good. Ran a 9.30 something or whatever it was in, in half a game's work. My movement was really sharp in the first period. Second period, got a little bit sloppy. Although I did an amazing job of getting in the way of pucks to a point where pucks were hitting my, my arms or hitting my chest, hitting you know my center of mass, which is obviously one of the goals. I didn't control the rebounds well, and I felt like I wasn't in 100% control of the game. So it's back to work, put the boots on, put the hard hat on, you know, get those elbows greased up and just back on the saddle, back on the horse. So that's the plan today. Shout out, Zamboni driver. Hey, can we drop the net down? It's gonna look pretty cool from here. How cool is that? I honestly thought it was gonna come down and hit me in the neck for a second. <laughs> captain our fearless leader is hitting the get yeah, actually the train station's right there we're gonna make it on time yeah i'm not gonna have to like peter parker as long spider as i don't get pulled over <laughs> if you get pulled over i'm out of here man yeah, <laughs> you're, you're on your own i'm fine with your ticket <laughs> <laughs> see you later sucker people talk in the comment section all the time like you're on the bus you're on the train you're going three hours to practice three hours back dude like you're a loser i'm out here getting better and i don't give a shit if i gotta come on the bus on the train by a horse and buggy i'm showing up I'm getting better and I'm working on my goaltending because that's what I love. And that's the difference. You have guys in this league, you have guys that are watching this vlog. Yeah, I'm just gonna show up and look kind of cool and hope that things work out. I got a pro mentality. I'm gonna go somewhere, I'm gonna get paid. I'll bring this to division two, I'll bring it to division one and watch my numbers reflect exactly that. Putting in the work and that workman's mentality. Speaking of which, there's my bus. <laughs> Absolutely disgusting, which is why I have this dryer rack all set up. It's all from last night. This is why we have drying racks. I talk a lot about working hard, getting the job done, being a workhorse, but I'm gonna be doing that. You bet your ass me playing hard. I'm gonna be having a good time. I'm gonna try to enjoy all the, the lighter things. Anyway, uh, I got a little goalie session, booked off some ice by myself, build the team, talked to Derek Bujan, Pasco Villana, went over a couple things. There's a lot of times where you fight through traffic and position wise, you're like right there, perfectly on angle. So when the plays were coming down your left side, blocker side, and you're moving back to the post, look to me like you got a little bit flat. You're automatically thinking about trying to transition into an RVH in the blocker side and it's harder for you. And that's maybe why you're kind of like subconsciously kind of flattening out to make that entry a little bit easier for you. Fighting to get into position right away. That's what we're always fighting to do. 
And it's so easy to be a little bit back, how easy it is for, to have that weight sitting on the other side of the hump of your skates. And that, and that makes a big, big difference. What I'm noticing is that you're staying in your game plan longer, playing the game the way you know, and you're staying in, the, in that discipline longer. And then there's moments in the game where you fall out of it. And that's where you can get yourself into trouble. Not everything has to be perfect. It's the perfect time to practice. It's the perfect time to make mistakes, have those discussions, and then do a number of reps that make you feel comfortable. Great on the outside perspective, 20 to 30, rocking a 935, 933. Truth be told, I wasn't happy with it. A lot of pucks were coming off my body. Yeah, I did a great job getting into position, having pucks hit my arm, hit my shoulder, hit my chest, hit my gut. But a couple were bouncing out, and that's that's not acceptable. It all starts here. This is the uh, start of the work week here. 75, 80% to the glove and blocker. We have no pegs. How did I not know that? I, uh, I got to give a special shout out to uh, Jesper. He's one of the board members for the team. I'm not kidding you. When he heard that my dangler broke the other day, he literally went to his daughter, I think nine years old, 10 years old, ripped the dangler off her helmet, brand spanking new, and came and put it right on my stall the next morning. Like what an outstanding guy. So part of the goalie session today. Good eyes. You make your own penalties. Last one. Last one of the day. Suck it, Dennis. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, little. Wow. This is the home. I basically shut down the whole restaurant, and Dennis witnessed it. I ordered so many things, they had no idea what was going on. Double halloumi, Frisco. Like that Big Mac, I had it last time, and now I got double. The Korean bar, oh my god, look at that. Look at that. It's nice. Yes. They're nice. Now I got it in chicken. I haven't had any chicken since I came to Sweden. You can show my. Yeah, show it. What's, what's Dennis got here? Dennis is a food guy too. I have with salad and what is this? Beef. Yeah, you got lettuce wrap. Yeah. When they asked if I was a YouTuber, I should have told them I was from head office. No screws are loose around this joint. I'm gonna start having my face right now. No, I'm good. See you, dude. Yo, know, my mom was, uh, my mom called me the other day. She said she was watching my food reviews at Max and she said the burger looks really, really, really good. Mom, I love you. Dad, I love you. I miss you very much, both of you. And uh, I love Sweden, but it's not the same when you don't have family. Today's Sunday, and the home opener is on uh, Wednesday, which is really gonna be exciting. We're gonna hopefully have a, a packed barn here. We're gonna have a push a thousand people. I don't know if we're even illegally allowed to have a thousand people, but that'd be the goal. You know, I talked with the, you know, with Pasco, I talked to Derek Bujan about it, getting a good understanding of my positioning, my depths, my crease management. Am I in the block zone? Am I in the react zone? 
all these types of situations to kind of process and then go out and make safe selections. The goal for Wednesday is to be razor sharp between the ears. The safe selection is going to be on point, going to be an absolute, like I mentioned before, a concrete brick. Come home, have a nice cup of tea and enjoy the win and then go back at it again on Friday for another one. So I talk a lot about getting that paycheck for next season, like working, trying to get paid. One of the, the big reasons why I want to do that is I just, I really want to take an awesome vacation with my dad. My dad has been so supportive and just such a huge part of, of my hockey, plain and simple. He's been with me since I was four years old. My, my dad never played hockey, so there's a lot of things that he doesn't understand, but I just want to say thank you to my dad for everything that he's done. And I want to take a nice, really cool trip from Winnipeg on the train to Vancouver. My dad just spent some really good quality time. I don't know, my mom's going to watch this and be like, where's my vacation? Where's my trip? Don't worry, mom. We'll go for like a nice, nice dinner to a nice steakhouse or something. You go to Mexico like four times a year. We don't need to add any extra vacations. You miss family and family is just so important because I'm out here by myself. I'm kind of on my own little island. You know, I have my team. I have my coaching staff. I have, you know, Chubbs, the boss man that I live with. But it's just kind of me out here most days. Put the work boots on, get those elbows greased up, get that high-vis vest on. And let's, uh, Away. A couple orders of business. First off, uh, this band is going to even be on my mask for a lot of today. Uh, I ended up getting it from a goalie coach that I work with, well, I used to work with um, last year, and it was great for working on hands, working on eyes, getting the, the tracking going right off the hop. So that's going to be one of the great things, eliminating the peripheral vision, getting the front vision going, having to move my head in the pucks, be on yourself, amino IQ, tangy peach flavor today. This stuff tastes like fuzzy peaches. I'm switching it up from the uh, banana ice pops. Any day you get a fuzzy peach, the tangy peach, you and yourself mean my Q squared in you. It's always going to be a good day. The Manscaped player of the game, Eric Arvidsson, long distance relative of uh, Victor Arvidsson. He's related to you, right? Nope. Well, we're going to tell people that he is. I told you, go home and get me a Diet Coke, make yourself you useful. Your no, you're gonna go grocery shopping and bring- Is that what it is, the Diet Coke? Or? No, go grocery shopping and bring daddy back a Diet Coke. Yeah. Daddy's thirsty. Hey, I still love you, okay? Hey? Okay? I still love you. Today's a huge day. It's National Kenabule Day. If anybody in Sweden ever wanted to take me seriously when I say, like, I want to be a Swede, I love this country, this is the greatest place on the planet, it would be goddamn sacrilegious if I didn't pick up a bag of these at the store last night after practice. So anyway, we're gonna do a QA. There's a lot of questions. I got a lot of questions to get to. I'm gonna try to breeze through them as fast as I possibly can. Also, for the mail time, Send everything to this address right here. This is our team president. You can send it to his place. He's going to give me the package. Again, please don't send bombs or any explosives or any that kind of stuff. Um, it's always good to send me a message on Instagram. Just let me know what you're sending beforehand. Like, if you're sending cookies, it, like whatever you want to send, I'm fine with it. But just let me know so maybe we can kind of accommodate so I can tell you, like, hey, like, we're going to be away for a while, whatever the case may be. Anyway, we're going to do a Q&A. Roll the intro. I got my greens. Let's go. Time for a Q&A. Well, I came on. Yeah. Hey, look, we're on that TV thing. Strap on your skates. You're going in. This is so good. KK88, and he says, you have the most active blocker I've ever seen. It was funny, we worked in the summer, uh, Derek Bouge and I worked all summer while trying to fix my blocker. It's almost like the second I put those Manscaped logos on and I got a little bit freshly shaven, I was light on my feet, I was light on my edges, I was ready to roll. And uh, yeah, the, block, the blocker's feeling good. A couple things to adjust, but uh, that shorter stick, that 22 inch shaven down stick, I know Pascal Vellano is gonna see this and have like a stroke, but um, it works. For me, at least. Did you bring your guitar with you? I didn't bring my guitar, obviously, but the, uh, the boss man, the guy that I live with, he has his own like, little acoustic guitar. If you lose your first start, the hair gets chopped. 
No. Uh, I want to do something with my mullet and cutting it and something with charity, whether it be donating my hair to charity or donating some money to charity, something like that. Uh, I'm partnered with Manscaped on that, so no, the hair will not be being chopped. I want to do something with that later on in the season. Do you ever think you'll end up in the SHL or any leagues like that? No, my ceiling is uh, Division One. Division One in Sweden is my ceiling. SPHL on a team that's broke, desperate, and needs some people to come into the rink and get some excitement in the community, that is my ceiling. Have you moved on from Kex? Nope, I still love Kex. So good. How much Swedish can you speak so far and how much do you understand so far? Yavas Fensafita. Alex says, does anybody else notice the pad under rotating? Just wondering if it's been discussed before. Yes. My Manscaped 20.1 gear is shot, it is broken down, it is almost two years old, it is time for some new stuff. Wow, or CCM Warrior, if you're a rep, you got some demos, let me know, get me out of this stuff. Are there a lot of Canadians playing hockey in Sweden, a lot of Canadian goalies? I'm asking because I'm surprised that they import goalies from Canada. I thought Sweden and Finland were goalie factory machines. All depends. Uh, imports cost money. You have, to, you have to pay like a $2,000 transfer fee to bring somebody from Canada or the US over to here, so the cost itself is a lot more than if you had like a, a local. If I'm being honest, I'm very fortunate that Varberg thinks that I'm worth that price uh, to come play in the division, so. I can't believe there isn't a more efficient living situation for the same price point somewhere between Varberg and Homestead, which is about 100 kilometers away from where I live, actually here in Ellsberga, to Varberg. Here's the thing, I've had this exact same conversation with half my team, because they're, they're all kind of chapped. They're like, why are you so far away? Why are you commuting three hours to and from? If I go and I dominate, I throw up a 920, a 930 in my first 10 games, I'm out of here. There's gonna be a team call and saying, hey Trav, come on down, we need a goalie. Like, problem solved, problem is fixed. If you're in a team, you don't like the situation, you hate the coach, you hate the rink, be good, get yourself onto a new team. You will go somewhere if you're dominant enough and you're overwhelmingly awesome. What do you think of Kazmir Kaskasu on the SHL? Listen, I've talked about this a million times. He's a top 96 goalie in the world. He's a world-class athlete. I do things one way, he does things another way. We disagree, we don't see eye to eye, so be it. If you wanna learn more, Listen to my podcast, Sling the Biscuit. Simple as that. I, I'm not getting into it here because we could be here for like 10 minutes discussing why we don't see eye to eye. Channel member Arthur Woods here says, so did they give you a car, but you just don't understand how to drive a stick? Because somebody could teach you. So this is something I learned in Sweden recently. You have a manual and an automatic license. So I am licensed in Canada to drive an automatic vehicle. I'm not licensed to drive a manual vehicle. So if I get pulled over driving a manual vehicle, although I could learn how to, I am in a lot of shit. Why don't you upload three videos a week anymore? Dude, I can't produce at that rate. YouTube is, is favoring longer videos, so we're doing two videos a week in that 12 to 20 minute ballpark. I can't produce three 20 minute videos a week. I just don't have the manpower. Everything you see is me. I make these videos, I edit, I post them, I film them myself. I don't have enough manpower to do three videos a week. What do you find the hardest adjustment moving from home? Accepting everything for what it is, accepting that this is not home, but it's going to be my home. I have to look at it like home, and that I will go home to Canada eventually and see my family at some point. For the time being, it's work. It's just another day of business. That's that's the hardest thing to grasp, to grasp that and actually to live it. Now, these are the type of questions that I want to see. When are we going to see some Swedish adult film for some extra income? Might as well put that lettuce to good use ever since OnlyFans banned explicit content. Here's the thing. I might I might have to start one. I might have to do an OnlyFans, get a couple bucks rolling in. Um, if you want some behind-the-scenes content, you want some exclusive stuff, uh, become a channels member. It's five bucks a month. You get discounts, you get exclusive content, uncensored monthly Q&As, and more. Um, five bucks goes all the way up to 50 bucks if you want to support me. Uh, there is no OnlyFans because I'm not getting naked anytime soon, or maybe I should. Actually, that's a good idea. Maybe I should do that. <laughs> My mom's going to watch this and be like, what the hell did I just listen to? Does every place in Sweden end with Berg? Actually, no, they don't end with Berg. Apparently, they end with Berry. So, like, Varberg is supposed to be Varberry, or like Flemingsberg is Flemingsberry. As always, if you have a question, leave in the comments section below. I love that juicy, I love the nitty gritty gossip kind of comments, the stuff about what's it like skating in Europe. Eh, that doesn't really tickle my fancy. So, leave the comments in the comment section below. Put QA beside it. If you got a mail time thing for me, send to this address. There's new videos every Monday and Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern, 7 a.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. if you're in Sweden. I look forward to seeing you on the next upload. I'm gonna enjoy this boule. Peace.